And it's time now to talk to this living witness, this victim of the carjacking of the Acura, Dimitri Johnson. Okay, so talk to us about what happened. So I got off work at about 8.30 at night, and as I was walking to my car, I just knew something was wrong. He heard an engine, like, revving in the parking lot where he safely entered into his vehicle. So I sit in the driver's seat, and I see some movement to the left, and this guy was running up. Some guy just rolls up with a gun, points it at him, and said, get your ass out the car. He was so just crazy about what was happening to him. He had a salad that he was going to eat, and he threw his salad at this guy to try to distract him. It didn't work. He grabbed my shirt, put the gun to my face. He next he goes to his pocket, takes his wallet and his iPhone. So at this point, the MO has changed a little bit because this time they've taken the wallet. But what's sticking out is another iPhone was taken in this violent robbery. Did you try tracking your phone? Yes, but it was turned off. And it was only one guy? Uh-huh. This particular crime of Dimitri Johnson is slightly different. So they've mixed things up a little bit here. Yeah. There's only one gunman in this one, and he took his wallet. Unlike the other two victims, we're not quite sure how this lone gunman plays into this at this point. What did this guy look like? Uh, I didn't really see his face, but he was black and in his 20s, I think. Despite these minor differences in modus operandi, we still think this case is related to our other cases and ultimately the murder of Jonathan Kent.